Hi, I'm going to do the 15th cognitive bias listed in Charlie Munger's book. This is the social proof bias. This one was also in the book Influence, the Psychology of Persuasion, which was one of the books that inspired Charlie Munger to go into psychology and study all this and find out what these biases were. They listed six in that book. He was basically trying to warn consumers against the six cognitive biases that marketers use to trick us into buying products we probably wouldn't have bought if we were of sound mind. But instead, of course, most consumers don't go out and read, whereas most marketers are hungry for knowledge so that they can succeed in life, so they go out and read. And so they all ended up buying this book and enhancing tricks they already used because now they had a better understanding of how they worked instead of the consumers buying this book to protect themselves like the author intended. So that was kind of unfortunate that that worked out that way, but it's kind of how things work. Knowledge is power, and that's why some people are really successful and other people are frustrated. Anyway, um, social proof is really, really simple. You probably all know about it. You've probably heard it a million times, like, if all your friends walked off a cliff, would you do it too? But, you know, it was like a survival thing. Like, it made things simple. Like, there's a lot out in the world that you need to know, and you only have so much time and energy and memory. So it was easy just to mimic what the other people would do and blend in with the herd, <laughs> you know, so to speak. And even now, even with these simpler times when we're not being actively hunted by all these predators and worrying about falling off cliffs and drowning and things like that that happened a lot more during the harder early stages of evolution, we still have a lot to do, a lot to deal with, and it's easy just to, to mimic the crowd. Like you want to go to a big football game that's going to happen. If you go the direction of the crowd, they're probably heading that direction. It, it works most of the time. But the problem is that the crowd's not always correct, and sometimes the crowd is sorely mistaken. Like, there was a time in life when a great number of people smoked cigarettes, and if you had gone with the crowd on that, you would be damaging your lungs, wrecking your endurance, making your skin prematurely wrinkled, perhaps cultivating some unpleasant emphysema and stuff. So. It's not always good to follow the crowd. <laughs> so, Anyway, I don't really have a whole lot to say. As I've mentioned many, many times, my point is to make you aware of what these biases are. Get them into your mind, and if you want to learn more about them, you could probably find stuff on the internet. You could always get the book Poor Charlie's Almanac by Charles T. Munger. It's a very good book. You go to page 450 and he starts talking about all of these one at a time. It's the, that section of the book alone is worth buying it, even though it's an expensive book. But this one would definitely be easy to find research on because it's one of the six in the book Influence the Psychology of Persuasion, which is a pretty famous book. So I'm almost positive that people have talked in depth about the six cognitive biases in that book all over the internet shouldn't be hard to find information on it. So hopefully I inspired you to look into this more and it will be knowledge that will help you in your day-to-day -day life.